Hello, this is Barry. You're watching Barry in the PI. I'm out here by the waterfall. So you'll hear that in, uh, on here. I, uh, I'm going to talk about buying a car here in the Philippines. Uh, the only way you're going to be able to do that legally is to have a permanent residency visa, either the SRRV, which I have, or the A13. And uh, once you have those, uh, it's also good if you have a valid uh, driver's license from the USA or from whatever your home country is. If it's expired, then you're probably going to make you know, have to take the, the uh, written test to get a, a driver's license here. You may be the only one person in there, the uh, foreign person there, when you take that. Uh, I, uh, I didn't have to since my Texas driver's license was up to date and hadn't expired. So uh, you have to get that done at the LTO office. Now, where I live, I couldn't do it at the local office here in, in Tagaytay. Uh, we had to go to Manila. Yeah, that means you gotta drive down that horrible traffic. And uh, you're going to have to have a, uh, a visit to the doctor. And they'll, there's a doctor right close to the LTO office, and uh, they will give you, if you have blood pressure problems, be sure to take your medicine before you go there. Because uh, you gotta pass that, that uh, uh, test that the doctor's gonna give you. It's not an extensive, when you just uh, take your blood pressure, check your eye test, and, uh, see that you have no disabilities or stuff that would affect your, your driving ability. And uh, sure enough, I had blood pressure and it didn't meet their limits. So I had to go back home and uh, go to the doctor and have her increase my dosage, and uh, which I did, and, and went back and uh, finally managed to pass the, the blood test. Uh, then you've, uh, uh, they'll do the, the lights and stuff right there. They have a camera, take your picture, and then print it out while you wait. Uh, then, where are you going to buy the car from? Well, we wanted, I wanted a, a new Toyota Hilux, and, uh, so we went to the dealer, took the Toyota dealers all over the place, as well as Ford and uh, Mitsubishi and Hondas and everything. So I went to the dealer in Santa Rosa. It's a much bigger place. They have a facility there. Hey! Oh, shop! Lily, I follow. Sorry about that. Anytime a dog runs there, out there on the road, they start barking. And how come peppers come to join in? Oh, 
Wash up. Butter. Butter. Okay, uh, so we went to the, it's a big dealership. You know, they do training there for their mechanics and stuff there. Uh, all right, Bubba. The dog walking and petting. So, uh, uh, okay, might have came to the rescue. Uh, so, uh, we had brought enough money, we had enough money when we first came here to pay cash for uh, a vehicle, whatever we decided to get. And uh, that way, I got some little price reductions on it. <laughs> we had a big, huge bag of pesos, I'll tell you. And, uh, and it took them a while to count all of it. Well, we waited. So, uh, I, but anyway, I negotiated a little reduction in the price, and I got them to put in a backup camera, and uh, lining, plastic lining goes on the bed of the truck, and a few other things. And uh, and they were happy to get money. And uh, so uh, it took a while. Uh, but you can walk around and look at all their cars they've got, trucks that they've got available while you're waiting. So it took, I guess, from about 10 o'clock in the morning to about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Process all the papers and all that stuff. But for those of you who don't have that and want to finance it, they do financing through the dealer. Uh, and you, can, you have to have proof of income and uh, agree on the, with the uh, payments and all of that stuff. Uh, you can do that. Uh, they don't finance it for like for five years or 10 years or anything like that. But uh, you can get your payments in for a couple of years or maybe even three years and then uh, you pay it off that way. Uh, so we were a little lucky that we, we didn't have to do that. I wanted to I not have to make payments and stuff. Now, insuring the vehicle. You have to get vehicle insurance. And it's, there's no GEICO, there's no Progressive here in the Philippines. You go to, all around the LT office there will be car insurance uh, companies that, and you go in and and it's pretty neat, it's pretty low. Uh, I think it's only about six hundred dollars a year or something like that. Seven hundred, six hundred to seven hundred dollars a year. And uh, so we were able to get that and taken care of and. Uh, if you get into an accident, you don't just drive home, you got to call the police, you have to file a, uh, a case if somebody runs into you, uh, let them know, because the insurance company is going to want that police report. Uh, but they will pay up. Uh, we had a major accident with my truck, and uh, it was oh, about $10,000 in damages to my truck, and uh, the insurance paid for it. And 
They got down at the Hoyo dealer that we uh, bought it from. So. Uh, now you have to weigh in whether you want to really uh, try driving in this traffic. Especially anywhere around big cities like Manila. It's crazy. You won't believe it uh, until you get here and try to get around. Uh, here at the Tagaytay, uh, that major road was from uh, Tagaytay to Cebu is busy. At least it up until the, the Twin Lakes Shopping Center, and it kind of less uh, of a problem. But uh, the roads are always not great. Uh, you got, as I said, told in an er earlier uh, video that uh, you've got dogs, chickens, cats, uh, goats, and uh, trucks, buses, and uh, trikes. Jeepneys, uh, all along the road, and especially this road we have running right, right here, it's just a two-lane road, and there's no real curbs or anything on it, so if you get too far over, you're going to drop down quite a bit, uh, have a problem trying to get out of it. And plus, there's a lot of pretty girls looking at home. It could be distracting. So, after some close calls, I I gave up driving. I'm content with just letting Mida drive me, and while I look at the girls along the road, <laughs> and uh, so that's about it. But you just can't come over and and buy a car here unless you have the proper visas to allow you to do that. Uh, and you should probably try to getting it from a private owner, buying something from somebody else, but uh, you're gonna have, you drive around without a Philippine license, you're gonna be in trouble. Uh, we had a problem in Manila when I went to last weekend. I might have got in the wrong side of the road, and uh, there were three guys there. Go nope. well over here, traffic enforcers, and uh, he just hand a little 500 peso wheel to him and all right, no ticket. <laughs> so uh, that happens, especially in Manila or the big cities where you don't know where you way, your way around well and you'll get stopped by the traffic enforcers. Uh, so I can't think of anything else that uh, you can hire a driver and usually fairly cheaply once you get to know, know the locals and get self-established and just find somebody that will do driving for you. But it's also, if you want to get a motorcycle, you can get a motorcycle. Uh, but. It's, uh, you gotta have a motorcycle license. That, and that means you have to take a test. And I never had to drive, do the driving part. And the first time when we lived in Angeli City, I bought a car for $500. And, uh, I was ripped off, I think. <laughs> but I ended up, you hardly ever drive it because it had all kinds of problems. But the guy 
bought it back for me. I told asking, hey, this is no good. And he gave me back five hundred dollars. So, uh, but uh, driving's not going to be fun. Uh, it'll raise your blood pressure up. I'm sure. Uh, so today's a fairly nice day. It suns out a little bit. There's some clouds up, and it's not as cold as it has been. Inside the house is kind of cold, and uh, but I think it's 76 today to 69 below. So uh, pretty nice. And uh, if you didn't see my video uh, around the, our yard, uh, please look at that. Put that one up yesterday, and uh, some people really like my yard videos. And you see all the stuff, flowers and fruits and stuff growing. Uh, so check that one out if you have it. And uh, we'll see you back here uh, maybe tomorrow. I think I've got to do some stuff tomorrow. I don't know if I'll put out one, but I'll try. So take care. Have a great day. Take care of your family, your pets, and uh, we'll see you back again soon. Barry out.